Hello everyone, this is Lorraine and today I am coming to you with my next nail of the day video and this is the design that I created using two different base colors and I just did an alternating mani so on my right hand my thumb middle and pinky finger are the same and then these two are different colors and I just flip flopped it so the colors that are on my thumb index thumb middle and pinky are on my um, index and ring finger on my left hand so um, let me just go ahead and get started um, um, telling you what I have used. Wow. So I'm using a different base coat this week um, just because I really don't feel like the sesh recondition has, is doing much for my nails. I mean, it, it just says that it adds, fl adds flexibility to fragile nails. My nails aren't fr fragile by any means, but it does add flexibility to my nails because I've noticed like I've bent several of them and they're, they haven't broken although my thumb has and I can't remember how that one tore but that one broke but so I'm going and I'm, this one is it's getting thick it's less than half way empty so um, I'm gonna just try something different I was using this before when I first heard about julep and this is the julep nail therapy base coat so and I want to say my nails were really nice but it's been a while, so I'm just going to go back and try this one again to see how well it works. For my base colors, I'm using two different colors. And the first color that I am using is by Ruby Wing, which I showed in a um, Ulta and Burlington haul. I found these at Burlington Coat Factory for $3.98. This one is in the color Birdie. It's a real pretty pastel, like banana canary yellow color. And... Um, it's already starting to fade back from putting it under my UV light, but you can tell that these two nails, which have this, which are both birdie, the middle finger is slightly darker than the ring finger. I mean, the thumb. I have pictures of it at the dark, the outdoor shade, and indoor shade, and I will include those. And then for the deeper, like tan nude color that I have on these two fingers here. It is the color um, Lagoon. This is also by Ruby Wing and also a color chang changing polish. And this one actually had the little tag on it. The birdie did not have it. So um, this is what Lagoon starts off as and this, it what, this is what it changes to. Although under my UV light it did get much, much darker. Um, actually birdie I would say was more this color and this lagoon gets a little bit darker. I'll show you pictures, but um, I really do like the color changing effect of these polishes. And as usual as my top coat, I am using my Sesh Beats Fast, fast Drying Top Coat. And um, I apply that before I do my stamping in case I mess up. I can just wipe it off and re-stamp without having to start all the way over with my base coat, base color, and everything else. So for my stamping polish, I actually tried one of the new polishes I purchased. This is the Sinful Shine um, new sh collection. I got this at Walgreens for $2.99 and this is in the color Wisp. It actually stamps really great. I used this today on this, this manicure like I just said. But um, if so, if you're looking for a white stamping polish and you don't want to buy Conet, this one stamps really well. It's only $2.99, so go check it out. I will be getting some backups of this. And I need to use this soon just to see how well it's, it just polishes. It's fairly thick formula. And then my good old faithful IBD UV top coat. It's um, what I use for my top coat today. And... Um, for my stamping plate, I am using my the Sheikah Beauty Shop image plates, and this is plate big SDPZ, and the images that I use are these three here. This is the full nail image that I placed on my thumb, middle, and um, pinky fingers on both hands. And then I used these two mirror images, but I flipped them the other way on, um, on my 
index and ring finger on both hands. So this is the images that I use, these three here. This is just basically half of this image there. So that's what I use. Thank you for watching. Stay polished at all times. And if you want to see how I did the stamping and see how well Wisp by Simple Shine works, please stay tuned. Otherwise, thanks for tuning in. Stay polished at all times and have a great day. Bye. Okay, so I am going to get ready to do my stamping. I am just going to be using um, one color for my stamping this week, um, and that is white. And the, actually, I'm trying out a different white. This is the Sinful Shine polish that I recently hauled, and this is in the color Wisp. It is a pretty thick formula, so I wanted to see how well it would stamp. So um, I'm going to have to do a nail of the day with this white because it looks like it's going to be fairly opaque. And I want to see how it applies. Well, I actually want to see how all of the um, Sinful Shine polishes are in comparison to the you know original ones. So as usual, I'm starting off with my stamper. Um, I'm using a store card for my scraper, my polish, and then cotton balls so soaked in acetone. And I'm using a cotton claw from Sally Hansen, Sally Hansen, Sally Beauty Supply. And before I do any stamping, I always clean my plate because, um, as you can see, there was a little bit of residue from a previous stamping on there. So you want to make sure that doesn't pick up, um, especially if you're using white, it might, you know change the color of your stamping you know from what the white to whatever color that's still down there so I'm going to go ahead and get started I am doing a combination of um, there's three designs one full nail and then two mirrored accent nail images so um, unfortunately you won't really be able to see it on this stamping surface because it is white but um, it will show up pretty well at after I'm done so I'm going to do the full nail image. Actually, you know what? Let me. Hmm. Let me just go ahead and do something just so I'm not sitting here. So, this is pretty gloopy almost, but let's see how opaque it's going to stamp. And it looks promising. The only thing about white is that it's going to, you know, it's generally hard to see it, but. It's actually not too bad. Oh, I mislined it, but that's actually okay because I get to see the ruffle edges of the design here. So it stamps really nicely, I must say. So I might have to go get some backups of this. Um, that's why it's pretty opaque. And, I mean, no problems at all. So very pleased with this white. So... If you're looking for a white stamping polish other than Conat, check out the Sinful Shine White Polish in Wisp, number 1225. So next I'm going to do um, one of the accent nail designs. So. And it's the similar design, so I think I'm going to do it like that. So it comes up the top and leaves a bit of the edge free at the tip. So that's the design I'm going to do. So this is just like half of this design here. So it would be like this part down here at the bottom, this row of flowers, and then that's it. So I'm going to do that on the rest of my nails so um, I think I'm going to do the accent on this one on the yellow here and then do the full nail on this hand and just do the opposite on the other hand so that's it thank you for watching and um, stay polished at all times and I will see you in the next video have a great day and I will have still pictures bye